He mowed me down earlier. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've just left Cheddar, uh, Cheddar Gorge campsite um, and I am obviously in the Bristol Western Supermare area. Um, I'm gonna be heading to the Shepton Mallet Show uh, not long, uh, later this week. Um, I'll probably be getting there Wednesday at some point to then go through a few things, meet John and Tash there and um, a load of the others that are gonna be speaking. But I thought, whilst I'm in the area, why not pop into my home mat, that leisure shop? Because he owns a leisure shop. I see him at the shows and that, doing his talks. And I see that he has his, uh, his, his stand there with a uh, all covered in orange as you can see there we go <laughs> so we're gonna go have a little look at the shop not i'm not just popping in just just for the fun of it although that i am to be fair um but i need i want to get some um uh storm straps for my uh for my awning because obviously you know i know it's blazing sun right now which is just a bit um a bit ironic really because summer's almost meant to be done or coming to an end and uh, we're now we're now uh, got you know heat wave weather it's almost touching dirty but I, I want to get um, some uh, storm straps ready for the winter to be able to use my uh, my my awning so I do love my awning you know awnings are great they really are look at these flags you're not gonna miss his place are you He's, he definitely sticks out. Not only is he orange, but he sticks out. Um, so I want to get that. And then I want to get a filler cap that my water can attach to, my hose can attach to, and then I can just put it in and then walk away from it. Because at the moment I have to actually stand there with it, which is a bit of a pain. So let's have a look at the shop, shall we? I love little shops like this. So much stuff. You can just look around all the knickknacks and everything. Look at the awards. You're uh, welcome. Loads. <laughs> so I'm going to look through chairs. See, my chair at the moment, I'm using my fishing chair. I do probably need an actual proper chair because my fishing chair is a little bit low. I think that's what I need. You undo your um, cap, screw that in, and then you can just connect your hose straight to the end. And then you can walk away so you haven't got to stand there holding the hose like a lemon which i did this morning and i could have been emptying emptying my toilet and emptying my bins at the same time whilst the tank's filling but no i'm standing there like a plum they've got what saved me in france that is what i have on my keys at all times you can put a 20 quid in there or 20 euros and that is what got me out of a jam in uh in France. I've been looking for my storm, storm straps and I think these are it. I had a Fiamma awning before and then they, their ones have got like a little flat hook kind of thing that goes into the, the front rail of the motorhome. This one goes into the legs. There's like a little keyhole in the legs and you put it in twist I think and it holds the legs and you strap the legs down. So yeah, this is the one that I've been looking for, and hey, it's he's got it, which is a, which is sweet as a nut. Exactly what I want. So I've just finished at that leisure shop. Um, saw Matt at the shop, which was great. Great to catch up with him. Um, he's invited me to come stay at his for the for the evening and have a barbecue. So I've just popped to uh, Morrison's. I was going to get some bits and bobs anyway. So I'm going to pop into Morrison's, maybe grab a couple of extra bits for the barbecue. You know, you go, you know, you go. Um, and then, yeah, I think we're going to do some... Uh, recording tomorrow for his podcast he's asked me if i want to be on a podcast which is great definitely do uh, definitely be on that that'd be cool um so yeah i'm gonna uh, do some filming with him um for the podcast tomorrow so yeah we'll go have a barbecue tonight film with him tomorrow and then uh, crack on with the rest of the week sweet but i'll show you everything i bought because i got more stuff than i went in for of course of course but it's a good little selection of uh, bits and bobs all going to be uh, very useful so I'll go through them in a bit once I've got some Pepsi and some meat. Yeah. So this is what I ended up getting from that leisure shop, Matt's, uh, Matt's shop. Um, I went with that one in the end, 
which will fit mine, um, which was great to be able to double check whilst I was at the shop. Got me a uh, me, uh, strap kit, side strap kit for the awning, which I'll be using, probably be using that in a couple of weekends time when I'm with um, Pete and the lads, because um, we love the awning now. And yeah, nice to get the things. Might actually look at some point of getting the uh, side walls or the front wall, just to take a bit more off. I'm not sure, I'll have a little look. But yeah, then I got, I always bend them when I'm pulling them out, <laughs> pulling them out or something. So I've got a peg puller. I uh, bought some more pegs because you can never have enough really. Um, that's going to connect onto the current end of my hose, um, my um, water hose. So I'm going to put that on and then that should then connect onto there um, when I want to put that on, when I want to fill it up. And finally got myself a rubber mallet um, that I can then use. To, to put these in uh, and the kit in without um, without just standing on them and bending them. So yeah, pretty good little haul from that leisure shop. Good morning, you lovely lot. Look at that view. Look at that view. <laughs> See the motor home. Yeah, beautiful bar barbecue last night with Matt and June. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant. Loved uh, chilling out with them guys. I'm now going to hit the road, leave this beautiful view behind and uh yeah hit the road and get to the shop and do some podcasts do some filming Woohoo! so just getting ready to go in and do some um podcasts with matt and look at this this is where the magic happens hey matt matt i've got your money here <laughs> yeah <laughs> my wages <laughs> that's surely that's what you get paid to hang around with him right yeah. i mean come on yeah. if you gotta sit next to him and film all this stuff <laughs> But look at this, it's not too shabby, is it? <laughs> not too shabby. Right, so just finished filming a few a few little bits of podcast with uh, Matt. So they should be out at some point. When they are, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. Should be good, should be good. Slightly um, controversial to uh, topics, which is uh, always, good to, always good to touch on. I think they need to be uh, spoken about. Well, I thought I'd... Uh show you where i parked up last night because it is absolutely stunning it is the world's most beautiful park up <laughs> it's an industrial estate <laughs> yeah see i you know me i'll park up anywhere um and this is yeah it's just another one of them so i'm in bryce norton the runway is just over there um few big things going off and loud things here and there going over at night but nothing nothing major this is a dead end i think there's um a few businesses around the corner but apart from that it's it's been dead quiet all night um so i went to a morrison's in this town and i was gonna do my washing but it was always busy there was uh, they give you a three hour time limit in there um so yeah it was always busy it was evening time so i was like right I'll cut my losses tonight. I'm going to go find a park up, um, which hence I found this place. And uh, yeah, I'm now going to go back to Morrison's, get my laundry done, and then hit the road and then head towards Stratford upon Avon or at Eversham around that area. Um, yeah, because then I'm going to be meeting the boys, uh, meeting the amigos on Thursday. Meeting the amigos on Thursday, so I've got a couple of days to uh, do a few few bits and bobs in the motorhome, do a bit of work, and then uh, yeah, meet them lot. <laughs> this is the joy of van life right now. So my motorhome's parked up back here, and I could see the washing machines here. Now the tumble dryer was being used when I arrived, and the uh, 18 key kilo was being used. This one is out of order, so I can't use that one. I need to use that one. I always use the bigger ones just because it gives it a bit more room to wash and that's what you always use. You get three hours in here according to this board. I set a timer on my phone as soon as I pulled in for two hours and 50 minutes. So I've always got 10 minutes just to get my, my butt out of, out of here and not get a ticket. So now the timer is at one hour and 55 minutes left. That's gonna be 40 minutes and then that's gonna be probably 40 minutes. So it's, it's getting time. That finished 20, 20 minutes ago. And I'm still waiting for the people to come back and get their washing. Just as I stop recording, the guy turns up to empty his washing out of the machine and it's all old ragged and everything. I've just started to uh, make sure the machine's clean, like there's no bits and bobs left in there, ready to put mine in, and it stinks. 
of diesel, oil and petrol. I'm not putting my clothes in there with that. Wasted an hour and a half, half my time. Come on, people. Just don't be a... So I have arrived at this truck stop. I'll uh, find it's like the hut um, near Eber Ebersham. Um, washing machine's behind me, as you can see. Washing is on. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it's, uh, there's a little gatehouse to get into here, which is just through there. I just got to the gatehouse and I just said, oh, I want to use the washing machine. You just let me in. That is the washing done. Um, I did have a security guard come round and check on me. Um, he said that there's no camper vans allowed to be in this uh, truck park. It is literally for lorries and trailers and all that. Um, he said, but I was fine to do the washing. Um, and then yeah, just leave when I'm uh, when I'm done. Um, so they do. They must have CCTV and they must check and all that. So yeah, all done. Now I'm gonna go find a park up and chill. Good morning, you lovely lot. Right, so I spent the night at Morrison's, parked up here. <laughs> yeah, there we go, parked up. It's a bit of a weird one. It's like a space. There's like two spaces and then there's like some bricks, like like, like it's a pathway. Parked up close to the trolley bay. You guys know I like to do that. You know, obviously I'm not invisible, but when you're you, know, you can't really see much behind the trolley bays like down there down there and then over here but yeah no uh parked there last night all, all good no one uh, no one bothered me the shop shut at 10 i think it was so and then all the car park lights went out that was fine no no bother um done some filming in the motorhome home this morning and now i think i'm going to head over to costa i think they've got a another retail park over that way somewhere I'm going to head over there, go to Costa, take my laptop in, maybe grab a nice coffee or something and do some work on the laptop in there. Right, I am with the Amigos. So I'm with uh, Pete, Jimmy and Will. Kev should be joining us tomorrow. Um, I actually forgot that I've been to this campsite before. And I've actually been to the lakes that I've fished at, that we're going to go fish at tomorrow. So we're in the backfield, we're in the camping field here. Um, we didn't need electric, so they said that we could come out here because the touring field's a little bit busy at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're all parked up. There we go. All parked up nice. Got a nice little um, setup going, you know, just in case it gets windy, but it's not. It's not windy at all around here. Um, but we've got mine and me and Peter um, side by side. So we've got the awnings out, all nice and uh, set up. Uh, we've got a barbecue going on under there at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, start cooking some food. Jimmy just reminded me something. He mowed me down earlier. So we were uh, coming in trying to work out our configuration. I said, right, if you go this way, yeah, and he really didn't grasp it. I'm guessing dementia and you know, he's going senile. But <laughs> he's still got a license. So I'm stood at the back of his van where I've just discussed this. And then he jumps in and just starts reversing and just bumps straight into me. And then. Wheels on the opposite side, and he just he didn't bob, bother bibbing me, going thinking, oh, we might go under them wheels. No, he just pressed his dash cam, so he caught the footage. So we've had breakfast around the camp, and we're now heading. I'm in the van with Will. The others are in the car with Kev, and we are heading to the Stratford Pond Haven uh, Adventure Overland Show. So we're just a couple of minutes away, and uh, yeah, we'll go for a day visit. Walk around, see see a load of the people, get some food, have a little look around, see what we can buy. I think there's an actual um, jumble sale here this year. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's like a van life jumble sale, so people can put stuff out in stalls. So we'll see what, what that's all about, and uh, yeah, have a little wander around. All right, just walking around the show and uh, come across um, Veterans in Action. So you're the main man. Oh, so, so, You're the main man. Well, I saw this scene, but I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. Like, uh, like, I'm supposed to be the one that's in charge. Right, so what, what does Veterans in Action do? Well, we help guys predominantly with post-traumatic stress or other mental health uh, right. uh, kind of illnesses like uh, and we do it in a practical way, yep. i.e. get them motivated to start working again within okay. a team of their peers. And you build vehicles? The way we grow people is to build a, take a vehicle down to it's nothing yep. and then rebuild it from scratch. Start from scratch. And each vehicle within our fleet of vehicles have got a different purpose. So this one, obviously, as you're looking at it now, is a kitchen yeah, vehicle. Yeah, this is brilliant. We have to cook for a lot of people. Yep. And we also use the vehicles, and we're going to be using this one in the future for disaster relief. Right, okay. So we all rock up, we can cook for about 40 or 50 people at a time. Right, okay. And we use that. And 
it always gives the veterans weird help and a bit of purpose. Yeah. So they feel that they can achieve again. We we, we create uh, merchandise. Yep. This is a new brand we're just uh, been creating, like uh, okay, called yeah, Land Adventure. So this one we call our media vehicle. So we we're, we're trying to be a bit like you and yeah. do videos. We've got a YouTube channel, yeah. and uh, the idea of this one it carries all the camera equipment. We're out in the field, Perfect. so we've got drones, we've got all sorts yeah, like yeah. of camera work. This is the cook one. Yeah, this is the one they've just the finished building. It, yeah. uh, it's Look a, at so it. It's a nice looking vehicle, isn't it? Absolute beast. And this this is the only one of these in the world. We built this to our own design. Really? Uh, it's completely a, a unique vehicle. Just roaming around the Adventure Overland show. Been uh, saw a load of my mates over in the YouTuber area. Um, in YouTube's corner, um, yeah, hung out with those them, said hello, and this is just down um, at the race side, at the um, track side. Um, got some vans for sale down here, and they've got the like the jumble sale. You've got the whole bag here um, where it's got indoor trade. Yeah, it's an indoor trade stand. <laughs> There's only one. Um, yeah, one. And it's just. A company selling Victron and some solar panels, which is a bit, I don't know, I expected a bit more in there to be fair. There's a guy here that's got the uh, same motor home as me. He's his uh, 2006, but there it is. Look at that, look at that. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, he's uh, been around Europe for a couple of years in his, so yeah, he's had it for about three years, which is cool. I had a little look around and I'm just not, it just seems a bit small and a bit not as busy with trade and with stuff here. Nice little walk around and that. I had a, it's nice to see people. That's what I like. Is I like I like catching up with people, seeing them and um, saying hello and whatnot. Seeing a load of my mates I don't see all the time. Um, see a load of my mates I don't see all the time, which is good. And yeah, have a wander around the stalls, see what's going on. But yeah, I think we're gonna slowly take a wander back now. I'm going to grab a few bits that uh, I left at Phil's van and then make our way back to the car park. Um, I think we're going to go chill out on the campsite and uh, just do a few bits around there and just chill out really. Probably have another little barbecue tonight, maybe get the projector out again. We was watching John Wick last night on the projector. We watched half of it, so we'll probably finish the rest of that, um, which was really good. It's nice sitting outside with the projector, it really is. It's quite cool to be fair. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, probably head back now. So we've had an absolute banger weekend. I've been an absolute pants YouTuber. I've recorded pretty much nothing. Um, but it's just me and Pete now. Me and Pete decided to take, uh, stay an extra couple of days. Um, weather wasn't as great yesterday, so we didn't go fishing. So I'm going to be going fishing tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to do a day's fishing tomorrow for the new channel. Uh, Pete will be doing bits and bobs. Me and Pete have been out and about today, not really doing much. Went and done a little bit of shopping and got a few bits and bobs. He got a new phone. So I'm going to help you set up that later. Um, now we're just uh, setting up the barbecue, setting up the cooker. As you can see, I've got this new little barbecue because I don't have an actual fire pit um, that I can get out uh, around, the, around, the bar, uh, around the camp if we want to have a fire pit. And my Weber is like a, a proper barbecue and I really do keep it clean. I put it all away prim and proper every time I use it. So when it's just, if you want to do just burgers and sausages or just a quick quick lot of wings you just want something quick and easy to use so I bought this um, little flat pack one um, I'll show you it more uh, later but it's um, really working out well it's got a real good system at the bottom like a gr nice grate to protect the actual fire source so then you can put everything on top and it doesn't doesn't smother it and it just keeps going we're gonna get some uh, chicken wings on that and some thighs Pete's just getting the air fryer out and everything now good to go I've got some bread in that uh, Geeky Phil gave me so massive thanks to Geeky Phil but even even bigger thanks to Tess because I know she's worked ages on this uh, KFC um, KFC recipe basically perfecting it over time and yeah it's going to be banging so I've done all the chicken um, little breaded, breaded fillets um, doesn't use much of the uh, bread in to be fair and you leave them to sit and then I'm going to deep fry them uh, outside. I've now got back into keto so uh, Pete's in keto as well um, so yeah we're just uh, waking up in the morning last couple of mornings we've had uh, bulletproof coffee which is like a fat coffee and you have coconut oil and uh, double cream in it so as, as of t today I've only had a couple of coffees I haven't eaten yet um, so I'm about 16 hours into a fast basically so then yeah i'm gonna have some food and it's gonna be good <laughs>
can't wait. So this is the chicken that I've uh, breaded and deep fried. I've done it on there, so uh, <laughs> some of them have got got a bit. It got a bit too hot at one point, but then uh, yeah, these ones look absolutely amazing and they taste amazing. And then this is the chicken wings. We've just done loads of chicken wings on the on the barbecue. Um, Pete marinated them. I'll wait until he comes back and then we'll ask him what he marinated them with. Brown sauce, ketchup, touch of vinegar, touch of sweet chilli, ground ginger, ground onion, and a lot of Tabasco. Are they yeah. good? No, they're awful. You won't like it. <laughs> right, that is me done at this campsite. So we've been staying at Manor Farm Leisure. Uh, so they've got the fishing lakes down there. I'll put a picture on the screen uh, because it's way too windy to get the drone out. Um, there's a lot of um, static caravans here. Uh, holiday homes and there's loads down sorry for spinning there's loads down there and then at the further back there's a uh, electric uh, a camping field with electric I need a haircut <laughs> um, and then there's a, another field which we were in which is the camping field but um, they let us go in there really good um, really nice short grass really hard standing uh, good not not sinking grass or anything like that not muddy at all um, so I've just emptied all the tanks. I mean, this is the, the toilet and uh, shower block. Uh, so you've got a washing machine here, uh, which is free to use. Uh, there's no tumble dryer, but um, you can free, you're free to use the washing machine. Um, and then you've got, yeah, all bits and bobs. Um, the showers and that, they're, they're very basic, but they're very, very clean. Uh, and you've got your Elson point um, just at the side and, and fresh water. They don't have an, an, uh, a drain for a gray tank. So yeah, don't know where where people put that, but yeah, I haven't found one. Um, but no, we had a great weekend and that. I've been pants at recording. Um, it was nice to go around the show with the lads, have a little walk around, see a load of mates. But now, God, oh, it's windy. But now, I am heading to Leicester. <laughs> I got the uh, the finale. No, I'm not heading to Leicester. Well, I am heading to Leicester because I'm going to Costco. I'm going to pop into Costco, but then I'm heading to Lincoln for the uh, Lincoln uh, Warner's finale show, the last show of the year, um, which should be good. I'm going to meet a load of people there, see all the pe uh, see all, see everyone, and uh, yeah, have a nice weekend. There's no talks this weekend, um, so it's just going to be pure chill out. Hopefully, the weather clears up a little bit. We get one last decent weekend and get the barbecue out, get some food on the go, and yeah, chill out. So let's do it. Would you park an eight meter motorhome outside someone's house for the night? Cause I do.